All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, Lumberjack Cup this weekend. Oh, man, we're going to have one heck of a time. So as we have a lot of good memories, I have a memory of a Lumberjack Cup that has nothing to do with the tournament that we run. Are you ready for this? Okay. It's the first ever games that you ever worked for YHH were at the the Stillwater's Lumberjack Cup in 2015, was that? 14. 14? Tell us your memories of being a YHH employee back eight years ago. I was broke. <laughs> I had no other option. Uh, what did you think when I said, yeah, I'll pay you to go out there? Did you think <laughs> you might not get paid? Did you think there's a chance I might not get paid? No, I never thought that. Okay. Um, I, I thought I thought about not paying you. but I was at the, the St. Croix Valley Rec Center. You and I met for the second time. The yep. first time we'd met was at a sport engine user group meeting. Yep. Where I introduced myself and said, if you got any work for me, let me That's know. That's all I needed to hear. Um, I saw the inside of your car, which oh was my absolutely disgusting. Yep. <laughs> there was McDonald's wrappers. and uh, There was a couple years there. Where tins of like, grizzly wintergreen oh, all over the place. That was back when you still did, maintained did. that disgusting habit. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I yeah, didn't and realize I did the lumber turn into a cut. celebrity roast. I did the lumber. You, sort of celebrity no, roast. because you told me to look. You told me to look for a couple of players. Um I think this was back when Brody. I Lamb think Brody Lamb was on Dodge Donovan. County. They won it. They did, and they uh, won the A. And then Trey Fetchko got a game-winning goal and won the double A. Ah, uh, well, how's I, that? For, I didn't remember that, but yeah, um, yeah, that was fun. It's been eight years. And then I was broad. I would broadcast the championship games for the Stillwater Association. I probably did two or three before we took over the tournament. Uh, I would broadcast those. A and double A championship yeah. game. So it was awesome. Oh, awesome stuff. I blocked and there's somebody. Not much, oh, go ahead. What? I blocked somebody on Snapchat that day, too. <laughs> wow. I what a good memory. That. What yeah, a good his memory. Name, his name's Craig. Wow. Wow. Craig will never see this. It's okay. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let's, speaking of memories, uh, let's give a memory of the YHH version of the Lumberjack Cup, which isn't too terribly different. We just don't spend as much ice or ice in. Blaine, as we used to, um, we have we don't have as much ice gone still all as in we used to. on Blaine. It's easier for the customers. What is your memory, recent memory or good memory of the uh, Lumberjack Cup? Uh, my most recent, and this is kind of a twofer. Okay. So last year, Roseville took home the title in Bantam A and Pee Wee A. And as a former Roseville area, Reha, as an alumnus of the Reha program, uh, that's always fun to see. You know, it makes me feel better when Roseville does well. But we had a pair of brothers, and I'm going to zoom There's in a, a little bit on myself. a couple of them, I think, but th uh, this one's the coolest one, though. Colin Heights played for the Bantam A team, and Garrett Heights played for the Pee Wee A team. And they both got player of the game in two different buildings, in two different games, two different levels. And almost simultaneously. It was very, very close. So uh, Colin got it a few minutes after Garrett. And I think you told Garrett when you were taking his no, picture. No, Colin. I, I, sh I gave Colin player of the game in Stillwater, and someone gave Garrett the player of the game in Blaine. And he got so excited. He did. That his little brother got a player of the game. That was that was fun. Yeah, the whole story was kind of cool. That so that, that's your memory. That There were some good ones last year. That's I mean, sure. I suppose I could think back a decade and think of something else, but I'd rather not. I have a memory from last year as well, and it's uh, kind of the show might turn into a little bit of Mankato Fest, but it was last year. Um, if you recall, uh, even if you weren't in the tournament, you would recall that we had 19 inches of snow starting like New Prague, Rosemount, and a line that went all the way to Stillwater into western Wisconsin. Um, and then obviously Blaine and the rest of the Blaine got it pretty good, but the worst was in Stillwater and in that direction. And I got there early. I got there maybe an hour or two before because we had a set of games on Friday night. And I'm thinking there's a chance that Mankato doesn't show up. There's a chance that uh, the opponents for these four games that we had that night won't show up. This is going to be bad. This could be really bad. So Mankato shows up, you know, an hour beforehand or whatever. And I'm thinking, man, they just went through hell and back to get to this rink. Be extra nice to them. I'm expecting, you know, some daggers. They're going to – something's not going to be to their liking. 
And the attitude of these Mankato people, not just that night, but all weekend long was like, man, I wish that everybody was like, I left that tournament going, I wish everybody was like Mankato. They were happy to be there. They played hard. Uh, they didn't win the tournament, but they were just thankful to be in this tournament and be involved with us. And we were, the, the, the feelings were likewise there. And then I think they came down to the, uh, their peewees were in our tournament in Rochester, the Founders Cup, and just the same experience with the people from Mankato. And, and I'm excited to host them at our Friday Night Ice in a few weeks. So uh, so that was kind of my takeaway from that tournament. Like, man, I just really enjoyed meeting those people and was excited for them. And we'll have a little uh, shout-out for one of the moms who's going to – they're going to do a game for her in a few weeks for a hockey fights cancer game. So we'll talk about that in a minute. I love the people from places like Mankato because they're such gamers. Yeah. They're just like hell or high water. We're going to be there and we're going to play. And uh, not to disparage the Metro teams too much, Metro teams are spoiled. They are. They're spoiled. We we, uh, we, we know, know the, this firsthand. We we don't like the pool. You know, do it, do it. We we've already played this team. Or I don't like what time the game starts. And, 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 and Mankato's and, like we got to play outside on a frozen lake. Non, let's do it. No dimensions for the puck. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's it's easy to rip on the uh, metros, but like you'll see it when you go up north. You go up to Moorhead. You go up to Duluth. They automatically change. They, they transform into these nice people. I'm like, how come you aren't this nice when you're in the Twin Cities? Yeah, like why you don't know? you have as many complaints there's something when you're about, down I here? Think, I think there's that kind of that vacation thing. Like, I'm on vacation. We're, we're making a trip out of this. We're going to stay in a hotel. You're kind of in a yeah. good mood. You know, you got away from home or whatever. There's something about that. It's crazy. That's nuts. I was just thinking about that. Because I've had people tell me before, like, well, this tournament is so much more fun than, you know, the Gobbler, the Lumberjack. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> dude, because you're at a resort on a lake. Yeah. You took work off on Friday. <laughs> yeah. You, you showed up at a 6 o'clock game coming straight from Edward Jones or whatever you work at the Lumberjack Cup. I mean, yeah, you're going to have more fun when you're on vacation. I agree. I agree with that. All right, so there's the memories. Uh, let's talk about the actual tournament. Roll up our sleeves. You want to go Bantams down to PBB? Let's get our hands dirty. Let's get our hands dirty here. Bantams, I got... Bantams to PBB. Let's roll. All right, Bantam A, uh, uh, we're going to pick our pool winners and then a champion. Right? Yep, pool winners and then champ. I have pool A, I have a ranked team Stillwater. I have them winning that tournament. A lot of the kids on this Stillwater Bantam A team were on the Lumberjack Champion PBAA team last year. So I'm going with those guys. Who do you yep. got in A? Um, I've got, what does that even say? Moorhead. Yeah, you, we saw these guys up at the Blue Ox. They did well. They were finalists at the Blue Ox. Correct. Uh, Bantam, uh, excuse me, Pool B. I'm going to, you know what? If if there were betting on youth hockey, I've been betting on Wasika for the last two years. I'm hoping today <laughs> or, or this weekend is the time my bet finally starts to pay off. You just ruined it. You just <laughs> ruined it. It's the Blue Jays, right? Wasika yes. Blue Jays. Yep. All right. I'm go, go Blue Jays. All, All right. right. Out of B, I'm also going to take Wasika. All right. And then out of C, this is a really good pool. I think this is Minnetonka, West Madison, Delano. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but those it's are a pretty stacked. Three, pool. That's a really good pool. I think anybody really could come out of that. Unfortunately, Delano is like number one in the state to just beat Armstrong Cooper on Sunday. Maybe they're going to come in a little overconfident, you know? Okay. They're number one in the state in Class A. I, I don't know. I, I got them, but. Be careful of overconfidence. Yeah, I'm going to take West Madison. Ooh. You know, those a lot of those kids were in our camp last summer. Remember that Ryder Richards and Kinsler and Getsky and those guys? Hudson Kinsler. Yeah, I, I, I would just Richards, love Evan anything more to see those guys uh, uh, win a pool and, and get into bracket play. That would be great. I got them coming out of Pool C. And All the right. other team you were thinking of is Coon Rapids. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And they played, I think they Got, were semifinalists in that Burnsville tournament over Thanksgiving. Probably. All right. Uh, Pee Wee Double A. Um, okay, last year's – wait, just a quick reminder. Last gonna, year's champ. Oh, you pick. already talked about last year's champ. It was Roseville for, for Bantam. And you're not going to pick a champ for Bantam? Uh, I'm going down though. Okay. I'll go down uh, Give me a Wasika. All right. Um, Pee Wee Double A last year's champion. We just mentioned it. Stillwater. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to go – I'm going to go crazy here. I oh never do this. You're not I going never crazy. This. I never we have do two this. of the same t three picks. Yeah, but Go normally I would pick Maple Grove. You know, it's just standard issue pick Austin Maple Grove. I'm going to go White Bear Lake in Pule. 
you stole it. They fell last year. Maple Grove lost in pool play last year. I think they're going to lose again this year. Wow. I'm taking Oscar Maple Grove. All right. In pool B, if anybody picks Matamidi, not Matamidi, they're crazy. I got Matamidi. I do too. And then Stillwater is, even if this were a down Stillwater team, and I don't think it is because they did really well in, in the pumpkin this just seems to be their tournament. They've won it a lot, it, like at least two times, maybe three times in our tournament years here, I think. I know two for sure. So I'm going Stillwater, and I'm going to pick Stillwater to win it all on their home rink. All right. I am also picking Stillwater to come out of Pool C and to win it all. What's the kid's name from Stillwater number C? John, is it Jeremiah Johnson? I know it's Johnston. It's his first name. He's really Jonah. good. Jonah Johnston. I knew it was a biblical name. Jonah Johnston will be wearing the uh, – we'll, we'll, we'll carry the plaque. He's going to get the plaque, too. Are you sure? How, who do you think? Because I could literally roll who, down the roster. Who you got? Find. Who's going to win? Are you picking Stillwater, too? I, I could t- – I, mean, I am picking Stillwater. I'm picking Stillwater. We're the bold. We're, like, totally gooching Stillwater right now. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I mean, you could pick Lucas or Jacob Bjornley. Yes. Crosby Rankin had a really nice big pumpkin. They got – Landon Burke is another nice little forward. Yep. Geese Bauer, That's Juan good team. Schneider in goal. It's a good team. It's deep. That's deep. All right. Uh, last but not least, ooh, last year's champion was Roseville. Yep. And guess what? Are they back? They're back, and they're, they're the back. number one team state, and they've played all double-A games, a lot of double-A games this year. I think Woodbury's going to give them a run for their money. I really do. I really do. I've, we've seen a lot of this Woodbury team this year, but I'm picking Roseville. And because I have such fond memories of 2019, I believe it was, when uh, uh, Marquette won it. Yeah, it was 19. You know how I know it was 19? Why? Because the following year they came back to defend their title. They got halfway between Marquette and Minneapolis and got told by their association to turn the car around because of COVID. Oh, yeah. Why would you mention rough, that? Rough. Totally rough. Totally rough, rough moment in my career uh, finding a team the day of the tournament. But we somehow yeah. pulled that off. I'm going Roseville. Marquette's my dark so- dark horse. Who you got? All right. I'm going Osseo Maple Grove as my champ. Really? Yes. I like that. And Good Stevens pick. Point as my dark horse. <laughs> Schroeder this, and Schroeder. This group has been to a lot of our stuff and done really well. But I think they play it like in squirt bees and peewee bees. So they're going to step up a level here a little bit and see how they can do. All right, Pee Wee B. Pee Wee B. Uh, taking Blaine as my champion. Well, they Hard are, to go wrong with the number. They're like number one number or number three team threes. in the state. They're, they're top three in the state. Uh, I like that pick. I can't wait to see the Bengals this year. I'm going to go kind of a little bit off the board. When I say Edina White, you're going to go, oh, Edina White. Oh, that, that was a stretch. Edina White, um, they were an 0 and 3. 0 and 3 in a pool at the Gobbler. I'll tell you how tough that Gobbler field was. Then I think they won their play-in game, their their bracket game, like nine to one or something like that. Okay. And I think they're just a little bit fired up after not doing so well in the in the gobbler. They're coming to show up, uh, show how good they are in this tournament. My dark horse is going to be the Chisago Lakes Wildcats. Uh, my dark horse is going to be South St. Paul Invergrove Heights. Who you got to win? Oh, you took Blaine. Blaine. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. 